I just have a couple of items uh, at the top. And I wanted to know if you have an opinion on this. Sure. Well, we, of course, applaud the Salvadorian people for exercising uh, their democratic right in peaceful elections that international observers called free and fair. We urge patience as El Salvador's Supreme Electoral Tribunal finalizes the results of this election. Preliminary results from El Salvador's Supreme Electoral Tribunal indicate a very close election, as you mentioned. Uh, we encourage the use of established electoral procedures to reach a peaceful conclusion to any disputes. I mean, unless you're going to go to war, which obviously I didn't not. I didn't suggest it was close. Well, this, apparently this official said that it would. Our heart, of course, goes out to his family and his friends um, at, this, at this difficult time. Uh, we don't have any information, uh, of course, on this incident, and certainly uh, the Afghans would be the lead on, on determining uh, the, the cause. Do you believe that the referendum will not take place on Sunday? And, and what is your plan B once it takes place? We've, of course, been closely following the developments in Libya since the start of its revolution and throughout its ongoing democratic transition. Uh, we know political transitions uh, take time, uh, and especially from a four-decade di dictatorship to a truly democratic system. Uh, we recognize that the Libyan government and the Libyan people are facing significant challenges in their democratic transition. Uh, this is not surprising. So we will continue to support uh, the democratically elected uh, Libyan government and its people.